Hi everyone, it's Crystal, and today I thought it would be fun to do an unboxing of Petite Four's March 20... March 2020 beauty box. Now, I received this beauty box a few days ago, and I put it up on Instagram, and I said, do you guys want me to do like a little review of it? And majority of you said, yes, please. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say that I have a six-month subscription to Petite Vor Beauty Plus box. I think that's all the right words in order. <laughs> And I am not in any way sponsored, gifted, affiliated with them. They do not know who I am. I just wanted to do this review because I love talking about skincare and it's very fun for me. And I waited so long in the mail for this box that I wanted to do something special because I honestly went to the mailbox every day for like the last month waiting for it to get here. So I felt like we should have a little party because it finally arrived. I'm not trying to complain because I'm very lucky to have this, but... It takes over a month for it to get to me. So that's why this is the March 2020 box because I literally got it a few days ago. So Petite Vor is really cool because they are like the Sephora of vegan and cruelty-free skincare and makeup. They also focus on more clean ingredients and that's why I got the subscription over like other subscriptions because those are things I obviously value, especially vegan and cruelty-free, which is really amazing. So Petite Vor also prides itself on selling products from companies that don't use any of their restricted ingredients. Now you can see in this graphic up on the screen, this is a list of the ingredients that they restrict. So in this case, these are the ingredients that will not be in any of the products that Petite Vor sells. So I just wanted to show you guys this list because I think it's important to understand what clean skincare in this case means. Obviously clean skincare is a term that gets thrown around so much and it means different things to different people and it means different things to different companies. So let's get into the first product. Product. So this is how the box is shipped. Your address is on the back and then you have the little Petite Vore emblem right there. Obviously you can tell it's very small and that's because the Petite Vore beauty box has five to seven travel and full-size items in it. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've noticed that most of the boxes I've gotten are heavy on the travel-sized items. So I might get like one or two full-size items but the rest of them are travel-sized. Now when you open the box, it looks like this, how cute. Very sweet, I love it. And then it comes with a little description card. So the description description card tells you the products that are in your box and it also tells you a description of the products in the box and the price tag. So these are all the products that were in the March 2020 box. So you will notice that some of these products, they don't have ingredient lists. So you don't really know what the ingredients are. So I always go online just to check to see what's actually in them. Some of these products are very essential oil heavy. I find for some reason, Clean skincare, they just wanna sprinkle essential oils in everything, and essential oils isn't great for sensitive skin. So I will be showing you guys the ingredients on the screen of each of these products, just so you guys can get like a full picture of what these products actually have in them. So let's start with the full size item. So the full size item, in this is this Fit Glow Mascara. Before we get into like my review of this, because I have tried it, let's read the description. The description says, this mascara is a multitasker that amplifies lash length and volume while nourishing lashes to grow thicker and fuller. That's a pretty big claim. The one thing I think we need to talk about first is that this mascara is $38 American to buy. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever spent $38 on mascara. That's crazy. So that's kind of the fun thing about this subscription box is that like I would never just randomly buy this because for $38, it, it better make my lashes grow thicker and fuller. You know what I'm saying? So I did try this a few days ago. So that's the brush. As you can see, it kind of has that little uh, comb on it. Very, very nice. I like thicker and fuller brushes. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, this is right up my alley. I will say that this mascara, when you put it on, it's actually a little bit on the drier side than other mascaras. You know how some mascaras are really wet and you're putting it on and you're like, oh my gosh, there's there's so much on there. This is a really wet formula. This is very dry. So, um, I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's kind of It's kind of a nice thing because then your lashes don't get like clumpy and stuff. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I put this on a few days ago, Derek and I went grocery shopping and I just wanted to test it out. I just wanted to see what it was like in normal everyday life. 
and it shadowed and smudged like a mother. It was crazy. Like, it was black here. Um, it actually did shadow up here. This mascara is amazing for, like, making your lashes longer. But because your lashes are longer and this isn't waterproof, it, it honestly was, like, it dotted right up here. So it kind of gave me, like, raccoon eyes, which was really unfortunate. Because this isn't waterproof, I think that's probably the reason why it kind of, um, you know, smudges and flakes a lot. And when it comes to separating my lashes, I would say that it didn't separate them as well as other mascaras like the mascara that I'm wearing um, right now it like really like separates my lashes it gives me a lot of length and this is the Tarte uh, lights camera action mascara which is like $30 so I just wanted to give like my honest review of this because for $38 it honestly better be the best mascara and I just found that it wasn't and I was gonna wear it for this video but I didn't want to be checking to see if it had flaked or you know smudged everywhere and I honestly don't think this would be a very good mascara to wear to anything where you're like sweating so if you just wanted to put a little bit of mascara on before you went to the gym not great if you wanted to put a little bit of mascara on before you went to like the club to go dancing probably not great but it was it's fun to try I'll put it in my makeup bag you know I will give it another few test runs because I think it's important you know just gotta give her the benefit of the doubt but honestly for $38 not my favorite so before we move on, I just want to show you guys the ingredient list for this mascara. So there's nothing too crazy in it. The only things that stood out to me was the hydrolyzed lupin plant protein. Random. Um, and then they also have vegetable collagen. Also random. I didn't really know you could make collagen from vegetables. Collagen is made from amino acids, but vegetable collagen is not something like I've heard of a lot. So I would love to know what they mean by vegetable collagen. Like, do you just mean that you put a bunch of like amino acids together or like, where are you sourcing this vegetable collagen? Um, but other than that, it's pretty normal kind of natural ingredients. Um, so interesting. We're just gonna move on. So the next product was the first time I've ever opened a product and was like, I have no idea what to do with this. And that is the K Voss Bronzing Potion. When I saw bronzing potion, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, is it fake tanner? What is it? Now, this is a travel size product. She's small. She's very, very small. So I just want to read the description before we get into it. This is the K Voss Bronzing Lotion Glow Cream. It's a sheer illuminating cream that gives a natural glow while moisturizing for a radiant complexion. Apparently this little bottle's $20. That's crazy. Now the reason why this scares me is because I've never actually put like a bronzer or like a, a tanning thing in moisturizer or I mean I've never actually self-tanned or anything before so when i hear bronzing potion or like tan or glow or whatever i get kind of nervous i mean it's pretty obvious to tell that i'm very very light complexion so let's get into it so it just looks like that it's just like you know brown shimmery brown sauce and then you just go like that Oh no, did it actually just make my bones super brown? Oh gosh, it's very sheer and it's just supposed to give you like a little glow, it has a little sparkle, a little shimmer. For me personally, this is not something I'm interested in. Like when I put my moisturizer on, I don't need to add like shimmer to it. But if you're into like a dewy look, maybe this would be for you. Now, this has no smell and that's important because when we look at the ingredients, there's a lot of big words in there that I'm not really sure how to say but the ingredients do include fragrance i don't find this fragranced at all so if you're sensitive with fragrance um i wouldn't necessarily tell you to be like thrown off um because there is no f really anything fragrant in this i'm not sure about this product yet i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was gonna use it for this video and be like look at I used it, look at how shimmery I am, but I got nervous. Like, I don't want to look like I put fake tanner on and then didn't know what to do. And I mean, obviously now that I put on my hand, I don't think that would happen. What I will do probably is use this maybe as like a, maybe like a highlighter over my bronzer. I'm gonna play with it and I'll let you guys know what I, uh, what I think. All right, so we're moving right on through. So the next product, and I'm gonna butcher this name and I'm really embarrassed, it's Pa Akai Cleansing Cream. So this is by Hanua Hawaiian Skincare, and this is their cleansing cream that has Hawaiian salt, hibiscus, and seaweed to cleanse, repair, and renew for soft, hydrated skin. And this little bottle for one ounce is $12. This is again something I haven't tried yet. So if you're looking for a cleanser that's really light and really creamy, 
that's what it looks like uh, on your skin. It doesn't soap up, it doesn't sud, suds up. Um, <laughs> And it's just really mild. So I feel like this would be really moisturizing. So let's look at the ingredients and let's take a little look. So this has a lot of different things in it. It seems to have uh, a lot of rose in it. So organic rose hydrosol and then it also has rose oil. And then it has witch hazel and it has wild harvested seaweed extract. So yeah, this has some nice ingredients. Now it does have an organic herbal oil infusion. So I don't think that's essential oil. I actually think that is like a rosehip oil and a lavender oil, which are much better for your skin. It smells really light and really faint. It does smell like rose, but it's really nice. Like it's not really strong. Um, and it actually like fully just, <laughs> I just rubbed it into my skin and it fully absorbed. So. It's really nice. If you're looking for a very gentle cleanser, this this might be for you, like check out the company. So let's move on. What are we gonna move on to? What are we gonna move on to? Let's move on to this. This is the Juice Beauty Green Peel Sensitive. Um, it just says Green Peel Sensitive. It doesn't actually tell you what it is. <laughs> So the description on the card says, it's formulated with botanical juices and alpha hydroxy acids. This mask exfoliates, oh my God, why can't I talk? This mask exfoliates and refines skin. I've used a few Juice Beauty products before and they were okay, um, but I do struggle with hyperpigmentation along my chin. It's obviously hard to tell because I'm wearing makeup right now, but I do have some dark spots um, on my chin because when I get like a pimple, the pimple just seems to want to create like a dark spot for no reason, I don't know why. It's like, I don't even mess with it and it just goes instantly into like hyperpigmented scar. So it's kind of frustrating. This should help that. So this is one of the products I have tested from the box. I have applied it to my chin um, twice since receiving this box. I haven't noticed a huge benefit, but when I read the back of this, it did say that this would make your skin red and very tingly. I didn't notice either one. The first time I used this, I actually forgot I was wearing it and almost didn't remove it <laughs> before I went to bed. So if you have very sensitive skin, this might make it red and tingly and you might feel that, but I didn't really feel any of that. And the reason for that might be because of the ingredients. So let's look at the ingredients in this. Cause I thought the ingredients after reading them were kind of funny. <laughs> I, had a, I had a good laugh. I was like, oh, clean skincare. This is why people make fun of you. So if you look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is apple juice. So I mean, how hippy dippy is that, right? Like apple juice, like of course. The second ingredient, which I was surprised to see is organic lemon juice. Now lemon juice is something that at one time was promoted as like a great all natural toner or just like thing to put on your face. But lemon juice is actually really astringent, so it's not something that you really want to put on your face, which makes sense because on the bottle, this says to only use twice a week. So this also has aloe, which great for your skin, and it has glycolic acid and some glycerin. It also has vitamin C and vitamin E. So not bad ingredients, but yeah, the apple juice definitely made me laugh. <laughs> I was like, of course it would have apple juice in it. Now, after using this all of two times, I haven't noticed a huge difference in my skin. And that's kind of the frustrating thing is when you get travel sized items, I mean, you can test them to see if your skin's sensitive to them, but you can't necessarily use this enough to get a benefit from it. So I will continue to use it because it hasn't like hurt my skin or harmed my skin or anything like that, but I'd rather use it for a few weeks just to, you know, just to give it a good run rather than like throwing it away. So the next thing on our list, this is the Leilani Beauty Balm. So the description of this says, bless your skin with potent skin softening butters and oils that nurture and help reduce inflammation. And this little travel size is $13. So the first thing I noticed when I opened this is the smell. Whew. This is pretty fragranced. It's not a fragrance that is like very artificial. To me, it smells like a sweet pea. I don't know if you guys have ever grown like sweet peas before um, or seen their flowers, but this is what that smells like to me. Um, I asked Derek what he thought it smelled like and he said geranium. Apparently what's in this is uh, neroli and blue tansy. Those are the main smells or the main fragrance in it. I don't feel like I'm smelling that. Now, because you can smell this a lot, like sometimes I will just put a little bit on and I was just honestly wearing it as perfume the last few days. The other thing that I find really interesting is this is a beauty balm. So it says that you're supposed to use it like on any areas where you need, you know, some extra love. But I have found that this isn't like the most 
moisturizing uh, balm or like face butter or body butter that I have ever used. I even put this on my lips and I felt that it just kind of created a layer rather than actually moisturizing them. But I love the smell of it so much. So let's look at the ingredients. So the ingredients are shea butter, this cacao seed butter, and then there's a bunch of like plant oils, which is very typical of like clean kind of skincare or like body butters or face balms kind of like this. Now you will notice that they do have the neroli flower oil, passion fruit seed oil, and then they also have blue tansy oil and orchid. Maybe I'm smelling a little bit of orchid in this. Maybe that's why. It's important to know that those are most likely essential oils. So again, if essential oil is not for you, this probably isn't for you, but like, oh man, I love the smell of this. It smells so good. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna use this as a perfume. I don't see myself smearing this on my face anytime soon. So let's move on. We only have two products left. The last, the second to last product is this Levito foot cream. So again, this is a travel size product and the description says, this ultra moisturizing foot cream soothes and repairs dry and damaged skin while eliminating odors. So I wanna show you guys how thick this cream is because for $7, I think it's a really great price. Now there is tea tree oil in it, so that probably is why they market it as something that can like eliminate odors. But look at this. So I just put a little bit on because you don't need a lot. It's very thick, so like this can go on like forever and you can kind of smell some light scents in it, but it's not overwhelming. It's actually quite nice. So yeah, let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients are a very basic balm or like body butter. Um, it has some plant fats in it, like the shea butter, and then it has plant oils. But then if you look at the bottom, there are quite a few essential oils. So again, if you have any issues with essential oils, this probably would not be the product for you. Uh, but I, I like it. it. It's just something that you could use like anywhere on your body. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a foot cream. So last but not least, we have this soap. This is from Moon River Naturals and it is their Peppermint Lab salt hand and body soap. Now this is by Moon River Naturals like I said and it has black lava salt which gently, exfol gently exfoliates, <laughs> activated charcoal which detoxifies, and peppermint oil which refreshes the skin. And I will say this smells very pepperminty. I really like it. It it really reminds me of like a simple kind of Castile soap, but with like more additions like charcoal and like the lava salt, um, which is kind of cool. So let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients are pretty basic. There's some coconut oil, castor oil, jojoba oil, vegetable glycerin, and then there's the activated charcoal, lava salt, and then the essential oil. So I think if you guys are looking for a small soap company, give this company Moon River Naturals a try. I mean, why not support small, right? And this is a really cool offering that they have. So I really like it. I love the smell and it's not super overpowering either. Like after you wash your hands and then you dry them off, it's not like you like reek of peppermint. This was kind of a fun little addition in the box um, and I, I really appreciate that. So I hope you guys like this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I know it's a bit different than what I usually upload, but I love skincare and I love talking about skincare and this beauty box is one way of me kind of just discovering new skincare brands um, without having to kind of like dive deep and spend a bunch of money on things that may or may not work out. So I hope you guys learned of some new beauty brands. And I mean, I'm not sure about you, but like I hadn't heard of any of these brands before I received this beauty box. And that's kind of the cool thing about these beauty boxes is you get to learn about all these new fun brands. And I've come to really enjoy receiving this beauty box, even though it takes so long to get to me. It just makes me so happy when I see it in my mailbox. So please like this video and share it with a friend if they are interested in this beauty box or if they just want to learn about more skincare brands that maybe they haven't heard about before. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate it so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!